Look at that. Just started filming and I caught a little guy here in the ponds. I gotta release him. If I can get him off the hook. Trying to do it with one hand here. A little dinker. Get him back in. See you, bud. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. We're out here on a golf course here in Southeast Florida. I'm fishing with my brother, Tom. He's back there behind me. And I just caught one small little bass. I'm hoping we can get into some bigger ones. I'm using a little, you see it? A little three inch paddle tail to start out with. But we'll see what we can get into here. Let's go. All right, we're trying different spots out here. Let's see what we can run into. I've had a hard time locating these bass the past couple times I've been out here. So hopefully we can find where they're at. I'm guessing because the water's low, they're going to be out in the middle, like hunkered down or somewhere around. We got to find whatever structure they're holding to. Where do you want to try? Where do you want to try? I'm just going to slow it down a little bit. Did you? <laughs> you just bumped into the little cafe. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Did he just break off? He just broke off on that bush over there? <laughs> hey, I have some baits in my pocket. You want one? I'll give you a bait from my pocket. I got your jacket for you. Quarter ounce. Does that suffice? Yeah. Do you have your leader still? Nope. You're screwed. Do a uh, uni knot. I'm gonna go with that. Do a uni knot, you'll be fine. Supposedly the uni knot, um, it just doesn't slip as much with the braid. That's what I've read on the interwebs at least. Oh dude, is this guy coming towards us? Or is he just going to the next hole? What's this guy doing? He's coming back around. Is he? Mm -hmm. No, I think he's... No, nah, he's just playing. He, he, did, he doesn't care what we're doing. Hold on, I'll do this. Let me reel this in. It's the one where you um, basically just wrap over itself. Looks like a better spot. Try to go nice and slow. See if I can get a little reaction bite. It's a little bit cooler out, so these bass might be slowed down a little bit. I caught a big one. That big one I caught the other day was right up against the bank. Right over there. No, in that little kind of where it forms in that little pond over there. It was right all the way up against the bank. Uh, yeah, like right over there. Caught a tilapia over there too. Yeah. 
bit warm out here, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna have to switch baits. This freaking paddle toe got all torn up. Yeah, they're getting frayed up a little bit. The thing is, you, you got to battle between, do you want more action or do you want more toughness, you know? Because these things have a ton of tail action. Where are these fish? Did you get a bite? On the hunt for some largemouth. Might be some freshwater snuck in here, maybe some tarpon. We're not too far from the ocean here. And there will definitely be snook and freshwater all around these areas. I'm about to switch base here. This thing's slipping off the jig a little bit. Swapping it out. Oh, do you have the bag? The bag. Pretty good. Now this right here, this right here is a bait that I make myself. I don't know if you can see that. It's got pretty good action. Made by a company called uh, Epic Baits. The mold is made by Epic Bait Molds. And this thing's got a ton of action on it. I have the mold and the microwave set up and all that. And we've caught a ton of fish on these little things. It's kind of a great saltwater bait because it looks a lot like a I mean, as you can tell, it looks a lot like a little greenback swimming around. I mean, everything will eat this thing. Caught a bunch of bass on it, snook. All right, I'm moving over here. Something bumped him, I'm gonna sickle it. The water's getting low, man. Yeah. You wanna go out to that deeper water? Yeah. We'd have to go, we have to go that way though. We have to get over on that side. I've caught some decent fish over there. I've caught fish over there, especially when, the, when it's tough over here when the water gets low like this. They seem to, I think, migrate kind of to that deeper water. I'm going to let it sink down. Backtrack, though. That's the shortest route. What's the shortest route? Backtrack. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll go over there. Let me just reel this in real quick. It's 640. It's going to be dark here in like 30 minutes, probably. I got to make it count. This is a nice little bait, dude. It's actually not on very straight right now though. There we go. 
It's a little better. All right. Got something big on right here. I don't know if it's a bass or what, though. Oh, what is that? It's gonna be a gar, dude. No. Wait, what is that? Is that a bass? Oh no, it's a freaking tilapia. Dude, I foul hooked a tilapia. Oh my God. I thought that was gonna be a giant. Look at this thing. I <laughs> freaking foul hooked him. All right, I'm gonna get him back in the water here. Oh, there he goes. I don't know if he's gonna make it because that hook was buried into his side. Whew. All right. Let's uh, let's keep moving. All right, we're calling it a day. Just caught that one little bass and that tilapia that I foul hooked, but you know, just a little, maybe out here for an hour. So, uh, but I got to use the new rod, which I liked, so it's pretty fun. But uh, yeah, next time I'm gonna have to come out and spend a little more time and uh, get some get some more fish. But uh, thanks for watching. All right, peace.